Hello everyone, it's Carly from the Poetry of Life and I have my weekly sales update video for you guys. So this is for Etsy and for eBay, um, mostly vintage items and I will do my best to let you know where I got the items from, how much I paid for them, how much they sold for um, and please bear in mind that the prices that I tell you guys, um, they are before um, the fees and all these kind of bits and pieces that get rolled in but at the end I will give you those numbers to let you know um, sort of what I made gross profit and what I made net profit so after everything is taken into consideration so let me go ahead and just start with Etsy so sold another one of these train cases I actually picked these up at a church rummage sale um, several months ago now it took me a little while to get listed um, but um, I picked it up for 50 cents it was an escort one that I saw before was a Samsonite um, it was beautiful it was really nice but it definitely did have some marks to it as you can see in the photographs um, and like I said picked it up for 50 cents and buyer paid $34.95 plus shipping uh, next is another lot of vintage uno cards from 1979 Um I seem to do pretty well with these like a turnover of just a couple of weeks um, so I think I made a dollar for these at an estate sale. Um, I didn't bother to check if they were, co oh no, I did check if they were complete. I'm sorry, I did check if they were complete, although I'd not put off if they're not complete because I do sell them, as you can see in my title, um, as like craft supplies or scrapbook embellishments. Um, so yes, paid a dollar and they sold for eleven ninety five with buyer paying shipping. Um, this tote bag finally sold, I say finally sold, it's only been up for about a month and a half, but I didn't know if it would sell, this was a bit of an experiment really. Um, so 1982 World's Fair from Knoxville, Tennessee, and as you can probably see in my close up, there are several sort of dark marks here. Um, I did wash it thoroughly, but there were just some stains that just could, could not be taken away. <laughs> um, and so I paid 20 cents and it sold for 14.95 with buyer paying shipping. Um, this wooden plaque sold. This was from 1970, um, and I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale. It had a little bit of wear here and there, like on the corners and stuff, but a really beautiful prayer um, with date down here, 1970. You can see some of the small chips there. So paid 50 cents and sold it for 9.95 with buyer paying shipping. Um, this is a small, like a travel perfume. Uh, bottle. It was by Revlon um, and it's kind of like a splash on one with this almost like this gold tone filigree type thing. This was I believe metal on the outside but it was a plastic bottle inside and um, it was by Revlon but it was completely empty. Um, I actually picked up two of these at a yard sale and um, I paid 60 cents a piece when evened out with some of the other items that I had bought there so and then this sold for $7.95. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, Relist my second one as soon as I find it, make sure it's in the same condition, all that kind of stuff for the same price, um, and hopefully that one will sell as well. And buy a paid shipping. And then my last thing on Etsy, it was a slower week on Etsy, I have to say, was this Nike um, vintage windbreaker jacket. Um, so I picked, I paid six ninety eight for this at a thrift store, which is way more than I usually pay because I usually do yard sales and rubbish sales and things like that and try and keep uh, my investment low if I can <laughs> in an ideal world, right? Um, but I saw this and I just thought it was really cool. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. You know, it's fall. It's definitely uh, light jacket weather. Um, it was from the 1980s, most likely at a push the early 90s. Um, that's all to do with researching the tag and getting to know those. But yes, I paid $6.98 and it sold for $34.95 with buyer paying shipping. And that was everything for Etsy. So my gross profit for Etsy this week was a mere $114.70. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, okay, so now moving on to eBay. So I had a few good sales this week on eBay. It was a bit more exciting. Um, these I picked up maybe last week. I think they were last week. And I have just, every time I have found something that is to do with these, like fox hunting, these brass horns, English hunting horns, they sell within the week. They have just 
done really, really well for me. I don't know why. I guess it's a popular style right now. Um, I always make sure to include in, in a couple of different shapes. You can probably see in the photograph, and I did disclose that. But they were napkin rings, um, set of eight, and I do make sure to use certain keywords like rustic, farmhouse decor, that kind of thing. I would have used shabby chic, and I think I did on Etsy because I cross-posted these, but I would not do that on eBay because shabby chic is something that is, I believe, copyrighted. Um, perhaps by Target. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, beware. <laughs> um, so anyway, I paid when everything was evened out at this estate sale, I paid a dollar forty for this set of napkin rings and they sold for thirty well, twenty nine ninety nine with buyer paying shipping. And um, they were going to Canada and when I looked when she paid for them, um the shipping cost more than the item. She ended up paying about like $35 I think it was for shipping um, so I went ahead and like went through all of my um, different options and saw how I could package them a bit more creatively and I was able to refund her $12 and get them into a flat rate envelope for international priority mail which I'm so pleased that I get to uh, refund her $12 because that was crazy so don't be afraid to try and get a little bit creative if you think something sounds a bit over the top with shipping you know give it a go and do a little bit of investigating I'm sure that buyers would be very appreciative okay next thing um, I picked this up maybe three to four weeks ago at an estate sale um, I actually picked this up first on the first day it was sealed all brand new um, and they were asking four dollars for it which is what I paid but when everything was evened out it ended up being a dollar sixty <laughs> and then um, this embroidery concrete, I went back the next day and I saw this and I kind of had a look at, um, you know, things on the label and stuff and I realized, I think these go together. So anyway, when both items are combined, when purchased on two separate days at the same sale, um, I paid $2.80 for everything that you see here. And I took a best offer today of $125 plus buyer paying shipping in just a couple of weeks. And I'm really, really pleased with that so I threw it up at a crazy high price <laughs> $200 is a lot even for a fairly rare cross stitch quilt kit um, the last one that I had seen that had sold on eBay sold for $99 um, and I wanted to see if I could push that a little bit further and um, so I threw it up at $200 and I sort of waited it out and I got some watches right away so that kind of told me that it was definitely piquing some interest um, so I kind of stuck with it a while and uh, I got a few offers someone offered me I think someone offered me like $25 which I just I just declined I usually don't just decline I usually counter but I just declined <laughs> um that's a crazy offer whatever anyway um and then someone came and the same person came back and offered me 40 and I still even at you know paying two or three bucks for it. I did not want to let it go for 40 so anyway holding on for another couple of weeks was definitely worth it and got $125 plus shipping and I hope they love it. <laughs> um, this, so patterns usually sell for me around the eight to ten dollar mark, depending on what they are, especially these kind of more generic ones. This is not a vintage one. Um, it was uncut, factory folded, all that kind of stuff. But I could not find this one anywhere on Etsy, and I think I found one on Bonanza that was three dollars, and nowhere else. So I put it up at twenty. Um, I think potentially with the best offer I'm not sure but um, anyway it sold at full asking price for uh, $19.99 with buyer paying shipping I, I figured the overall thing people are I sell them really well so a pattern may do well as well and I was right it did sell so um, I'm glad for that um, these I picked up last weekend as well um, at the same place I got the napkin rings the hunting horn napkin rings and so again this evened out at $1.40 I paid for this it was a pair of obviously vintage binoculars they were marked made in Japan they were Pentax really really good condition all the lens caps are present including the original case and the original box got watches straight away on them had a few offers which I counted and they weren't happy with my counters but I ended up taking a best offer of $40 plus shipping um, oh sold another Pepsi shirt <laughs> I picked these up at Goodwill on their half price day paid $1.50 per piece I got four of them I still have a watcher uh, and they're slowly like this is the second one I've sold um, I have two more available and they're slowly selling at $12.99 a piece which works for me with buyer paying shipping um, I picked this up last week as well I think it was yeah I do believe this was last week and I paid three dollars for this a lady wanted five I offered three she was very happy um these did not seem to be selling that well but the difference was mine 
in the little grand piano shape that it was, this little toy piano, it was golden green. And I could not find anywhere that had the golden green combination. So I put it up for $35 with shipping and it sold at full asking price. They didn't bother to give me a best offer for that $34.99 with shipping. So that will work. <laughs> This took me forever to get listed. I picked this up like at the beginning of the garage sale season and it sat and sat because I kind of hate photographing costumes. I don't know why. And this is a terrible photograph. Oh, I did not edit that well. Anyway, um, so this was a Disney store authentic, um, as you can see there, Woody costume. However, the hat, the cowboy hat did not go with it. Funny story, I picked this up for $3, which was the pants, the shirt with the vest, the bandana and the boot covers um, for $3. And on the exact same day, the very last yard sale I went to later on in the afternoon, they had a random woody cowboy hat for 50 cents. So it cost me three fifty dollars in total. Um, and it was a Disney Pixar. It was woody. It just wasn't the Disney store to go with it. But I disclosed all of that, lots and lots of photographs. And I took a best offer of $30 with buyer paying shipping, which I was happy with. $3 into $30, I will take um oh this was my big sale of the week so like two weeks ago i think it was maybe i picked up this leather jacket um for 25 dollars, which is more than i usually sell spend at yard sales but honestly this thing weighed like eight pounds it was fantastic quality made in the usa it was vintage belonged to the woman's husband i kind of overheard her telling her friends that it cost him 400 dollars when he bought it back in the day uh, she wanted 35 I asked if she would go any lower. She said she couldn't. Um, I think that was what it was. No, I said I was going to leave it. Then I overheard her talk, and I had to think about it, had another look at the piece. It was really beautiful. So I asked if she would take any more, and she said, or I asked if she would take 20 and she said, I'll take 25 and I won't tell him. <laughs> so, so I paid 25 for it, and I actually took a best offer for $200 plus buyer paying shipping. So that was a really nice return on investment, and I hope they love it because it was a gorgeous gorgeous jacket um pick this up for 20 cents at a rummage sale be wonderfully hideous <laughs> ugly sweat christmas sweater um and it sold for 29 dollars and uh, 99 cents with buyer paying shipping um, these I picked up at that epic 15 dollar church rummage sale that just keeps coming back to give me more profit which is fantastic um i paid 20 cents for these they were keds they were um vintage they were this like green um it was not velour it was like a velvet um pretty decent size they were in fairly good shape they had a little bit of wear down the side which i made sure to take plenty of photographs and close-ups as you can see there um but overall pretty good i grabbed them for 20 cents because i just never seen anything like them and i thought they were kind of cool anyway i took a best offer of 40 dollars with buyer paying shipping this is sat around forever it was just like you can see some of the marks down there that probably didn't do any favors um yeah <laughs> it was a nice shirt it just had a few light marks not stained just like light marks of wear or whatever but a really cool graphic on the back and um, i picked it for 25 cents at the yard sale i ended up taking the best offer of ten dollars plus by paying shipping which you know that's fine with me and my very last thing i sold i picked this up about two about three or four weeks ago maybe it was anyway um a few weeks ago <laughs> and it was on the half price day and it was still there it's a men's cologne it was like a splash on it did not have a spray or anything like that um, um, smelt wonderful still it's not really good um they were asking 15 originally they let me have it for five on the second day because they were getting ready to close down and i actually took a best offer of 42.99 with buyer paying shipping so let me give you my numbers for this week um overall like uh, so everything i let me let me tell you this what I spent on everything that I showed you here, the absolute total of all of the different products that I showed you was $54.32. And my net profit, this is from both Etsy and eBay, and this is after final value fees, any listing fees or like shop fees, and also that cost of the product that I just told you there. So everything removed, my net profit this week was $604.52, which I'm pretty happy about. And hopefully you can see, I'm trying to move a little bit more into like, you're listing higher higher priced items you know i'm trying to weed out some of the like ten dollar things or fifteen dollar things i'm trying to get some things that like when i get those sales you know i'm packing one or two or three things a day but i'm still making you know 
a hundred plus a day. That's that's my goal. That's where I'm headed. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, um, please feel free to like this video, subscribe if you want to see more. I do weekly haul videos, sale videos, and guys, I just hope you have an amazing week. And leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the sales. Um, I would love to know what all you guys think. Um, okay, have an amazing week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.